70,000 tons of spent nuclear fuel are currently being kept in locations scattered around the country. This, despite federal government promises more than three decades ago that it would be moved to a single, safer place. Last night, CNN's Drew Griffin told us about the taxes Americans have been paying for this broken promise and explained what dangers remain in storing nuclear fuel on site at plants. Tonight, he's with us again for the why part of the equation. Drew? Elliot, this was and is all about politics, politics at the very highest levels, but now Japan's nuclear nightmare could be making some big-time campaign promises look very shaky. Even political allies of President Obama are now saying out loud U.S. policy on those thousands of tons of spent nuclear fuel now stored across the nation has to change. We need to reconfirm that these facilities are designed to endure the threats we can foresee and prepare to respond to scenarios we never imagined. And Republicans are winding up as well. It's important to ask, uh, what about Yucca Mountain? We do need to eventually dispose of it. Uh, we have collected $30 billion to pay for an eventual disposal. Why don't we do it? Rather than let the science take its course, the politics has interfered and the plug has been pulled on Yucca Mountain, at least so far. Washington attorney Jay Silberg represents many of the nation's utility companies who use nuclear power. And he's talking about a political deal abandoned plans to store the nation's commercial nuclear waste in Nevada's Yucca Mountain in favor of leaving it where it is. The ultimate not-in-my-backyard deal. The government's part of the bargain was that they were going to take our spent fuel starting in 1998. That part of the bargain they have not kept. Not kept because Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid was locked in a tight re-election battle and blocking Yucca Mountain was a key campaign promise. He enlisted President Obama to help ensure it would never happen. How? Senator Reid convinced the president to appoint Gregory Yazko, Reid's chief of staff, to the one job with total oversight over the entire project, chairman of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. I think it ultimately is politics. If it were science, we would, we would have let the decision makers, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission staff, the licensing board members, the commissioners, and the courts make a determination based on science. That process was not allowed to go forward. In the spring of 2009, I asked Senator Reid about Yucca Mountain and all that nuclear waste being stored around the country. Leave it on site where it is. You don't have to worry about transporting it. It saves the country billions and billions of dollars. Senator Reid's office tells CNN he still holds to that opinion. As far as Gregory Yazko, we wanted to ask him about Yucca Mountain as well. But after testifying before a Senate committee, the NRC chairman wasn't in any mood to talk. Chairman about Yucca Mountain. Thank you. An NRC spokesman tells CNN the chairman had another appointment and couldn't stay to talk, but says spent fuel is safe right where it is, scattered around the U.S. in 65 different locations, 11 of them on active earthquake faults. And as for all that money that's been collected, Elliot, by the government to pay for the storage of the fuel that they're not storing, it is actually being used to pay down the federal debts. So there's a little more incentive not to use that money. You know, but Drew, first of all, an amazing report, and it makes you realize after what's gone on in Japan at the right. Fukushima plant, where one of the real crises has been the spent fuel pools and the fact that they overheated, lost their water. 65 of them around the United States, as you point out, 11 on faults, seismic faults something's got to be done. And aren't those communities getting together now and saying, okay, we understand Nevada's politics, but hey, we don't want this sitting in our backyard either. And, and that is the big problem for Harry Reid right now, because he's got those two Democratic senators in California with plants on the ocean, on faults, that are saying, hey, we have got to find a solution. And now, did the president put together this commission to come up with alternative ideas? Where are they? Well, the, the alternative ideas is just that. He's thinking big picture, not alternative sites. This Blue Ribbon Commission is to come up with a better idea of how we get rid of, reprocess, recycle, forward thinking. Right. But as you know, Elliot, forward thinking is, is decades down the line. For this and period. expensive. Look, nuclear power has taken a big hit recently. Everybody loved it for a while. It was going to solve the energy crisis, but now in terms of cost, the risk of a meltdown, tragedies, and then disposal. Disposal, which is what we're talking about here, sounds to me like we've gone from NIMBY, not in my backyard, 
to not in anybody's backyard, and this may just be an impossible problem to overcome. It's going to take a, a, a very strong political backbone to do what is right. We have this waste. There's nothing we can do about it. We've got to put it somewhere. Let me ask you this very quickly on the science. Is Yucca Mountain safe, according to most scientists? Would it work if there were not a political impediment to this? That's what the studies were all about for decades. They came up with this site. They came up with the engineering, and they say it is safe. It is absolutely safe, given all the science we have. Okay. It's just socially unacceptable. Well, it's going to be fascinating to see what happens when, in course, you know, of necessity, Harry Reid is not the majority leader 10, 12 years from now. Do the politics change? Anyway, Drew Griffin, thank you so much for that fascinating report.